Hello and welcome to the presentation. This is one of a series of presentations on Microsoft licensing and today we'll be talking about Microsoft licensing basics where you will learn about the common licensing models, the Microsoft licensing channels, and the use rights and value from your purchase options. Additional presentations in this series can be found at www.learnlicensing.com. Let's get started. Software is intellectual property that is owned by the manufacturer of the software and is protected by intellectual property laws. When a customer buys software, they are not buying the actual software code. Rather, they are buying a license with rights to use that software. The end user rights that define what can and can't be done with the software are included in either the retail license terms, previously called the End User Licensing Agreement or EULA, for OEM or retail versions of software, or for volume licensing, the product use rights. End users agree to these terms before their first use of the software. So when purchasing a technology solution, it's important to evaluate how you buy your software. How you choose to purchase your license can give you different use rights that can add significant value to your total technology solution. Now let's go through the basic licensing models. Desktop software, such as Microsoft Office or Windows software, are licensed on a per device basis only. That means for each PC or device that has a software installed, you must have an accompanying license for that software. An easy way to remember this is one PC equals one license. On the server side, there are two primary models, per processor and server client access license or CAL. The per processor model requires that each physical processor in the server with the software installed must have a per processor license allowing access by an unlimited number of client devices or users. For the server CAL model, every installed usage incident of Microsoft server software requires a related server license. In addition, all devices or users that connect to the server need a client access license or CAL, which provides the rights to connect to that server. There are two CAL modes, per user or per device. For the server CAL model, every installed copy of the server software requires a server license. A client access license is required in order to access or use the server software. A CAL is not required if access to the server software is via the internet or is unauthenticated. For example, accessing a website for general information where no identifying credentials are exchanged. If you would like to allow your business partners or customers to access your network, you have two licensing options. Acquire CALs for each of your external users or acquire an external connector license for each copy of the software that is being accessed by your external users. There are two types of CALs. Per user CALs are ideal for organizations that have employees who use multiple devices to access the network. They allow licensed users to access the server network from any device. Per device CALs are ideal for organizations that have multiple users for one device, such as shift workers. They allow any user to access the server network on any licensed device. CALs can be an easy and economical option for internal employees and contractors to access Microsoft technology. However, some solutions need information to be available to individuals outside your organization. Microsoft has licensing options for you to do that. The first option is buying CALs for authenticated users. For known external users, you can buy CALs that are assigned to those users or devices to access your servers. The second is per processor licensing. Per processor licensing provides the right to use the server software by any internal or external user. The per processor model requires that each processor in the server running software must have a per processor license allowing access by any unlimited number of client devices or users. Per processor licensing is an option for many Microsoft Server products, including SQL Server 2008. The third option is an external connector. The external connector is for non-employees and non-contractors. The external connector cannot be used by employees. 
an external connector license is required for each copy of the server software that will be accessed by your external users. Now that we have reviewed the basics of licensing and licensing models, let's talk about how to buy licenses. There are several different types of resellers or channels in which you can acquire Microsoft software. The important point is that you get differing license rights that vary by the type of license a reseller sells. Selecting the right licensing channel and license rights and benefits can add to the value of your technology solution. Full package product or retail or FPP refers to the new box shrink wrap software that is purchased in any retail store or through an online vendor. Retail software is best suited to a personal use or small quantities. Retail has limited transfer rights and paper licenses to manage and track. For users running software on five or more machines, a volume licensing solution can save you both time and money. Original equipment manufacturer or OEM software, such as any Windows operating system, comes pre-installed on your new computer. Application and server software is also available via the OEM channel. OEM software can only come with accompanying hardware and cannot be transferred to other hardware and requires manual tracking of licenses. Volume licensing can be best for customers that need five or more licenses or CALs or a server processor license. Microsoft has several volume licensing program options that have volume discounts and other benefits to meet your specific needs. Hosted licensing is an option for customers for most Microsoft software. License costs are billed monthly to the hoster or ISV that manages the software and is licensed by Microsoft to provide hosted solutions. I have mentioned that how you buy is important. Let's go through some of the specific differences in user rights based upon the channel with which the software is acquired. Delivery of software support varies on how you license your software. If you acquire software via the OEM channel, the OEM partner that built your computer is required to support the software. With retail and volume licensing, Microsoft provides product support. Reassignment rights provide the ability to transfer a license from one PC to another. OEM licenses cannot be reassigned from the PC on which they were originally installed. They live and die with the original PC. Retail licenses are generally allowed a one-time reassignment. Volume licensing software can be reassigned from one PC or server to another, offering increased flexibility, but cannot be transferred within 90 days of the last reassignment. Downgrade rights are the end user's ability to acquire the most recent version of Microsoft software, but to continue to run a previous version until the user is ready to upgrade. Downgrade rights are limited to certain versions and products with OEM and retail product and is unlimited with volume licensing. Imaging rights or re-imaging rights refer to the ability to create one standard image and build it and deploy it across your organization creating consistency throughout all your desktops. Re-imaging rights are available with volume licensing and retail licensing. Volume licensing is the only channel that offers electronic license tracking via eOpen or MVLS. When you acquire licenses via OEM or retail, you, you must retain and track the paper licenses that accompany the software. Many OEM and retail licenses can be enrolled in software assurance through volume licensing within 90 days of the software acquisition, providing them with the volume licensing use rights of the program they were purchased through but the OEM or retail versions must be the same version as the software assurance. Volume price discounts are available only through volume licensing, making volume licensing a good financial option for companies that need more than five licenses. Hosting is an off-premise solution with a subscription-based licensing model. The differentiating factor of hosting is that your hoster maintains and supports your desktop and keeps you on the latest software versions. All volume licensing programs have valuable use rights that can help you manage and maintain your IT infrastructure, including use rights for reassigning licenses when updating hardware, replicating standard images across your organization, managing and tracking of licenses electronically, and downgrade rights. Open license is for businesses that need at least five licenses and volume pricing with the flexibility to pay as you go to acquire software as needed to grow. 
Upfront payment is required and software assurance is optional. This is the simplest volume licensing program. Open Value provides simplified license management for more control over your IT investment and better management of software costs. The company-wide option provides substantial cost savings for standardization across your organization. Open Value also has a five license minimum, the option of annual or upfront payment, and a three-year agreement period, which includes software assurance. Open Value Subscription provides the lowest upfront cost of all the open programs with the flexibility to reduce licensing costs in years when PC count declines over the three-year term. Each of the open programs is available from any Microsoft software reseller. Select and Select Plus agreements are for organizations that plan to purchase a large volume of software from a particular pool server, applications, or systems, and provides a three-year renewable agreement that can map to your technology strategy and evolving business needs. Select is only available from Microsoft large account resellers. Enterprise Agreement provides substantial cost savings for standardizing on Microsoft software for 250 or more desktops and simplified license management and budget tracking through a single three-year organization-wide agreement to install certain software on all the organization's PCs, similar to the open value company-wide. Enterprise agreements are only available through Microsoft large account resellers. Software assurance is only available through volume licensing. Software assurance is a comprehensive maintenance offering that helps you get the most out of your software investment. In addition to the flexibility you get from volume licensing use rights, Software Assurance can add a lot of value throughout the use life cycle to help you deploy, manage, and migrate software. For instance, Software Assurance for the desktop includes home use rights, so your users can use the same software at home as in the office, e-learning to help ramp your staff up quickly, an employee purchase program for Microsoft software, and new version rights. Software Assurance for Servers includes 24 by 7 problem resolution support, TechNet Plus Direct subscription, unlimited web support, e-learning courses and labs, cold backup rights for disaster recovery, and new version rights. There are qualifying rules for Software Assurance benefits. For more information on Software Assurance, ask your reseller. You can choose Software Assurance at the time of purchase and begin using your benefits immediately for use during your agreement term. Some OEM and retail software can add software assurance through a volume licensing program within 90 days of the license purchase. The software acquires the volume licensing use rights of the volume licensing program the software assurance is purchased through. Please visit www.learnlicensing.com for an accompanying downloadable reference card outlining the major principles of this presentation and a resource list to get more information related to this topic. You will also find additional licensing presentations covering licensing principles and in-depth product licensing models at this site. Thanks for joining this presentation on Microsoft Licensing Basics.